uh, obviously the, the men and women charged with the duty in the United States to secure our border are the Border Patrol officers. These Border Patrol officers are overwhelmed with the amount of, of work they, they are required to do uh, and they're uh, suffering the consequences of an administration that is not providing them either, either the personnel or the resources they need. To speak more about it, we have Brendan Judd, who is the uh, uh, president of the Border Patrol Council. Brendan, come on up. Thank you, Governor. Um, first and foremost, I would like to thank the men and women in uniform, our military personnel, our DPS officers, our sheriffs. These people put on uniforms because they care. They care about these migrants. They care about the citizens of the United States. They put that uniform on every day to protect life, to protect the, the, the way that we have in the United States to protect our citizens. And they deserve an awful lot of thanks. We have to give gratitude to Governor Abbott for sending DPS here. We saw something yesterday that we knew was going to happen. When those people that were in buses south of Kingsville, Texas, when they found out that they were going to be sent back to Haiti, they took the bus over and they fled. If it wasn't for the men and women in uniform, DPS officers, if it wasn't for that, we do not know what would happen right here under the bridge. As word starts to spread, that they potentially could be sent back to, back to Haiti. If we don't ask the question, why are we here? What caused this? We won't fix this problem. The simple answer is catch and release. As long as we invite people to violate our laws, as long as we reward them for entering the, the country illegally and then releasing them into the United States with a de facto immigration status, to where they can get work permits, to where they can send their children to school, where they have every right of a United States citizen, they're going to continue to come. We've seen that time and time again. We have to have the proper discussion. If we have that discussion, we can fix this problem. But until we fix this problem, we're going to continue to see scenes like this. We're going to continue to put pressure on Texas resources we're going to continue to rob Peter to pay Paul. We're going to shift Border Patrol resources from already areas that are troubled like Tucson, and we're gonna send them out here. We're gonna shift resources from Laredo, shut down checkpoints. We're going to seed law enforcement operations to criminal cartels. The administration knew this was coming. On June 17th, they were warned. On June 17th, they were told to construct a temporary outdoor processing site similar to what we have in under the Anzal Duas Bridge in McAllen, Texas. They ignored it. They ignored the warnings. And then we started to see larger and larger groups coming underneath the bridge and congregating to the point that we're here now. Had we have taken the proper steps, we wouldn't be discussing this right now today. But because we are, Texas has been stressed. The Border Patrol has been stressed. ICE has been stressed. The National Guard has been stressed. There are solutions to this problem. And what you see underneath the bridge, that is not humane. The Biden administration promised that they would have a humane process. That is not humane. It is humane to properly enforce our laws. It is humane to not just give lip service to an issue, but to actually follow it up with actions. That's what we haven't seen. And for that reason, I am grateful to General North. I'm grateful to Director McCraw, and I'm especially grateful to Governor Abbott for taking the lead on this issue, an issue that he doesn't have to take the lead on, but he does because he cares about the citizens of the state of Texas and the citizens of the United States. For that, Governor, thank you very much. Thank you. Brendan Judd made a very important point, and that is failure to enforce laws that exist in the United States leads to chaos, and chaos leads to inhumanity. The Biden administration is a man-made disaster of inhumanity, of epic proportions. It must end it must end immediately, and the way to end it 
is by the Biden administration stepping up and finally enforcing the immigration laws of the United States of America.